Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. In Crimea, there are reports of a blast at an airbase in the region. At least one person has been killed and several injured following explosions on Tuesday at a Russian military airbase on the Crimea Peninsula. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the blasts at Saki airfield near the village of Novofedorivka were not caused by an attack, but by the detonation of aviation ammunition stores. The local health ministry has said that ambulance crews have been sent to the scene. 30 people living nearby have also been evacuated, and a 5-kilometer perimeter around the blast zone has been set up. Staying with Russia, the country also launched an Iranian satellite into space. A Soyuz rocket booster carrying the Iranian satellite Kayam blasted off Tuesday from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. According to Russia's space agency, the satellite has entered a stable orbit, with Iran's space agency claiming that it's already started receiving data. The launch comes just three weeks after Russian and Iranian leaders Vladimir Putin and Ayatollah Ali Khamenei pledged to work together against the West. The collaboration has U.S. officials worried that the satellite will help Russia in its Ukraine invasion, whilst providing Iran with monitoring capabilities of Israel and the surrounding region. Iran claims that its satellite is designed for scientific purposes only. Former U.S. President Donald Trump's Florida estate has been searched by the FBI as part of an ongoing investigation. The search of Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach was executed on Monday, with agents looking for presidential or classified documents that may have been brought in from the White House. Trump has called the search a, quote, raid and a siege. This comes as the U.S. Justice Department has two known ongoing investigations connected to former President Trump, one about whether he removed and destroyed presidential documents and the other about his role in efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election and the ensuing 2021 January 6 Capitol riot. Matthew Ashley, Arirang News.